Well, hello there. This is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Vancouver Island, Canada. And, oh boy, today is actually National Pet Day. So, what else? Of course, I got to do something with pets. <laughs> so, I am hoping that you can uh, join in with me. Um, I need you to help me with making some of the decisions as to uh, what we're going to be making. And if you can comment and let me know that you're there, that would be great because then you can also be entered in the draw. And if you're new to uh, us here, then please do tell us where you're from and uh, we'd love to have you participate with us. So just before we get started, because I always forget if I wait to the end, I get too into making the cards. I need to be able to remind you of the last chance product sales for the mini catalog as well as the annual catalog because things are disappearing very quickly. And uh, so, yes, it has been, we just had our club last night and it's amazing <laughs> the um, items that people couldn't get because they're already gone. So if you uh, go to my blog, which you can see here below, madelinescraftroom.net, you can find all the lists as well as the catalogs. And um, I also did a video last week I believe and I highlighted all the different products in yellow that are leaving as it kind of helps to have a visual so if that helps you go ahead and check that out or if you have any questions let me know but tonight we are going to use an online product and this has been out for a little while not too long and I love it because it is one of the reversible stamps what is a reversible stamp? Well, we are going to check it out. So, let's see here. I have a scrap of white paper. Oh, there's Yvonne. Hello there. All right. And I'm going to use my D block because we need something big enough um, for one of these pets. And I am going to do the dog tonight. I am partial to dogs. Well, I like bunnies too, <laughs> but I am partial to dogs. So let's go for it. So what I'm going to do is I have to get my cloth. I forgot. I need my cloth for my chamois for the glass plate. Okay. And I am going to use early espresso tonight, but I am not going to use it full strength. I want this to go a little bit lighter. So I am going to make sure it's all inked up and I put the smooth side down. So see, it doesn't look very nice. That's okay, there's a reason for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp off and then we're gonna stamp off again. And then I'm gonna go right onto my paper. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look nice. You know what? I bet you I haven't tried that on the last map before. Maybe it is better for this particular one to use paper. That's okay. Well, grabbing it, but not grabbing it. So let's do this one more time. Lots of scrap paper. We can deal with this. So you're, this is still too dark. So you're going to ink off one more time. And you can see that it's definitely getting a lot lighter. And so now we want to go down. So you can see that is quite a bit lighter and that's okay because now we're gonna take our stamp. See, that's the smooth side. This side has the detailed side. And so we're going to now turn it around and put that side. And now we're going to ink it up again. Oh, and I've got some missing at the toes okay and this is where hopefully you don't block what I'm doing but I just need to put my head over there and see and there we have our little dog isn't he cute and just to save time I did cut around him these images are really easy to cut so you don't have to fuss at all when cutting these little guys out 
And you can see they've done this for the cat. They've done this for the bird, even a little fox and a rabbit, even the paw print, the fish, and a pet dish. So everything you need for pets. So now we have our little dog. I'm going to show you something really cool. A new product. And when I saw it, of course, it's got amazing, amazing opportunities. Oops. And this is in our new annual catalog, Country Birdhouse. And it is beautiful. There are two beautiful ones, but ah, it was hard to decide. But I went for the birdhouse. And I'm going to show you. We'll get back to this in a minute, but there's a reason why I'm going to show you. We also have some in this country theme. There's some beautiful designer paper that is all in shades of uh, wood grains. So we've got this and see the color. We've got some petal pink in there, some browns, um, this design, this one. Another wood grain. Wood grains you can just use for so many different things. And I love the cottage kind of look that we've got in this as well as we've got a painted blue. And again, another dark brown uh, wooden one. So with doing that, I combined it with this suite. It's all part of the suite. And this is the card that I made with the little birdhouse. It is so, so cute. And you know what? Look at this little bird. We've had a lot of bird stamps before, but isn't that ever a cute little bird? And I love the font. We love the wood grains. I know for masculine cards and just anything with nature. Amazing. And look, there's even a little chain. I love the happy birthday here. Hello, friend. Hoping you have the best day ever, like some nice sentiments, and then the dies. Whoa, look at these dies. And that's where I got some of these, of course. This is where you have this beautiful little uh, post that you have the decoration. You have several. These are one, two, three different pieces you can use on the roof. And so, yes, and even for the whole, I mean, it's just endless. You can do flowers. Be watching. There's going to be lots more cards making uh, with this particular one. But I also like to sometimes think outside the box. And of course, when I looked at this one and I looked at this scalloped edge, I right away thought of my favorite at Christmas, gingerbread houses. But I also had another idea. So what we're going to do here. I took a piece of cardstock that is brown and it's going this way. And what I did is I took the birdhouse here, okay? And I put it through the die cutting machine and I made sure that I had it fairly close to the top, but not uh, right at the top and making sure I have some extra room. Now, I know this looks like a birdhouse, but I'm going to show you a little secret. So this is how you do this part for the card base. And then you're going to take your designer paper and you can see, <laughs> you can see that I have, um, I have done it already here. And all I did with my designer paper is I took the die and this part here, where it's for the bird, I just put it at the edge of the paper. And then, guess what that means? That means I have a doghouse. Whatever one you want to use. So, what I thought would be cool is, of course, we take our little dog but I was trying to decide on the color. So I did ahead of time these three wood grains. Well, but then there is also these. Which one do you think we should use? And why I have it cut out is 
when you go to place this, we are going to go through the hole and of course, then we're going to adhere it so that the dog house will be in the middle. So we have to decide which one, which one do you think? You'll, that's almost clashing, isn't it? Let's see, this one, that might not be too bad. So let me know which one you think. That one, oh, this wood grain here, but it has a little bit of the more yellowy kind of, or wild wheat, I'm not sure what that one is. We can look in a minute in the papers, what's on the back side. Well, I guess so. Hmm, one more. There's that one. I like the top one. Yeah, I think so too, and that's more green. So this one here, Is that the one you mean, Yvonne? Who else is out there? <laughs> Come and join us. Let's see, which one do you like? I think that it could actually be either one. I kind of like this one though. Is that, I think that's, yes, that's the one Yvonne means. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And so, like I said, what we do is we take our adhesive and we put the glue on the side we don't want. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some around the edge. And like I say, then you close up your card and you take your, basically your paper die cut and you put it through the hole and then you lift it and press it down. So there we have our dog house. Poor little dog, he's gone to the dog house. So this dog I did with the early espresso earlier. I just wanna come. I did do one in the pecan pie, but I kinda think I like the early espresso. But you can see how you can do the dog in many different, now I, when I stamped this one, I stamped off once only for the pecan pie and then full, for the detail of the dog. You could write his name. Yes, you could do that too. Absolutely. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Now, hang on, because what we're gonna do here, how do we cover up that hole? Well, but Penny, you're right. Look, if you put the doggy's name here with the die cuts, the alphabet die cuts, I love that idea. I'm going to try another one like that. Great idea. I also, because I don't have those die cuts in front of me, I thought we could, where have tried to find my stamp set? Put it over here. Ah, oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> so let's see. We could take the dog dish and... The, uh, oh, before I do that, I was looking through my sentiments and I was looking for a long one. And this particular one is leaving us it, and it's charming sentiments. And what's interesting about this one is it has the dyes that go around the sentiments as well. So yes, Penny, definitely. I am going to try that, but we'll give this as an idea and then you can, any, any, everybody can choose which one they like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this into a birthday card. So, I really like this sentiment. Okay, but we're gonna leave enough room for the dish. So, how about, or do we? I'm gonna put it higher up. The other thing we could do is do dog prints, the paw prints as well. Mmm. Mmm. Let's take this doggy out of here so it doesn't get confused. I don't get confused. It doesn't take much. <laughs> Not these days. Oh, look at that dish. That is so cute. So you know what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to put... But maybe a dog dish on a happy birthday. Maybe not. 
but it's so cute. I haven't used that dog dish yet. Oh boy. Well, maybe we won't put it with happy birthday. We could put a paw print and see these all work the same way. You can put it the smooth side. Oh, that doesn't have enough ink. Probably have to stamp it off. Yep. So let's stamp once. And then we'll do one. On, it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? <laughs> once we get the detail on there, it won't look so bad. Okay, now we're going to turn it around. Yes, might be better than the dog dish, eh? Okay. Oh, look at that paw print. I have not tried the paw print yet. That is cute. Wouldn't that make a nice uh, sympathy card, too, for somebody who's lost their pet? And you just put a um, thinking of you or sympathy on there. But I think that would look really cute. Okay. So now we're going to take our dog and I'm going to pop him up. <clears throat> so let me find my dimensionals. So let's see. We're going to put the dog on here. We got to pop him up because he's got to peek through the hole. Oh, goodness. I'm fumble fingers today. There we go. Okay, close this up. Let's see, we're gonna put, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this on first. And I'm gonna glue this because I want this to be exactly flush so that there's not the hole. So I think I'm just gonna put the glue around and I think it just goes under. So just make sure you don't glue where it's not going to be. So let's put this on. But I thought that would make such a cute dog card with the house. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, nope, oh, doggy's sticking to me. Okay, so now we have to make sure that he can open. So we're going to, yeah, it's okay. Look at that. Isn't he cute? So there we have our dog in the dog house. Oh my goodness, he's such a cutie. So that sentiment is a nice big one. That works really well for a strip like that. But see, you can't tell. I mean, yes, when you open it, you will see that. And if that really bothered you, you could take the brown because there is a dye for the, there's the birdhouse. <coughs> It's the birdhouse dies. So if you really wanted to cover it up, you could make a brown one here as well, and then it would look the same. So that would be kind of cool. But really from the front, it's hard to tell, other than maybe this part's a little more fancy, but dogs are special. They can have special dog houses. So there we go. And then I would probably just put um, a strip I don't know, but this size, you don't have much room to write. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, because you could make it go pretty much right there. And then you would have room to write in your card. So there you have the dog in the house and then the bird house. <laughs> so there we go, ladies. And this is always a fun way to make a template is when you have something like that. Even circles can work if you're making a card and you can then put the circle inside and then decorate it. So it's kind of fun to be able to make a die cut right on the front of your card. So there we go, ladies. Two different ideas and... I'm glad that you could join me tonight. And if you are catching me later on the replay or if you're catching me on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and like my video. That really helps me in my business. And also uh, if you um, 
haven't signed up for any classes, I have coffee and cards that is coming next Monday. And cards, Card Buffet only has one spot left. So uh, go to madelinescraftroom.net and you can see all the different classes there and the um, Google link that you can then sign up. So thank you, ladies, because this new birdhouse is coming in the new annual catalog. And so be watching. We're going to have some new little items that are coming up. And this is the first one that you get a little sneak peek. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.